We'll get to as many of them as we can. There's a mic in the middle, so if you do have questions, if you could come line up at the microphone, and we will try to get uh, most or all of them in. Uh, please do think of think of some cool questions. Uh, not your first time in Halifax, correct? Not my first time in Halifax. What do you think? Second time better? I, I well, the first time was great. I shot a movie here, um, and I was here for like seven weeks. So I was uh, walking around the town today, and I'm like, you know. After five days, you kind of get, you know. Yeah. Like, I don't gamble, and I found myself at the casino. You know? <laughs> I, I rented a car, I had a long weekend, and I drove out to, is it, is it PTI? <laughs> What's that island called? Oh, PTI. 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 <laughs> so I saw a bunch of potatoes. <laughs> And I stayed on a golf course, and I remember I just, I didn't even leave the hotel room, I just watched a bunch of Orson Welles films. Great golfing at the, uh... I don't golf either, but, great I, Orson but, Welles. I, but I was thinking about taking it up, you know? How'd you do at the casino? I don't like, I hate it. I just, I go there to lose money. It's like, you know, I got 200 bucks, and as fast as I can lose it, then I split. I never think I'm going to walk out with anything, you know? No, yeah. The casino always wins. We're going to get to uh, a lot of questions, but I just want to really quick off the top, I want to ask you about your first exposure to the role of Xander, how you came across the pilot script. And uh, we well, sound like it's like a, dis a disease <laughs> <laughs> when you got exposed to it. <laughs> I just take Valtrex, you know. <laughs> I read though that you were attracted to the role because you actually didn't like school. Is that is that true? No, I was attracted to the role because they hired me. <laughs> that's, that's key. Yeah, no. At, at that point in my life, it was just you know, you know, I was I was happy to get a job, you know. Yeah. It was, and it was my last audition of that particular pilot season. So I was just. You know, it's one of those things where you're just so fortunate that, that it was the first thing I really ever booked. And then for it to be that show, yes, yeah. pretty pretty awesome. What were your initial impressions of the character? Because we'll, we'll get into it, but he's complex, an insider, he's also an outsider. What did you think of him? I thought he was a, a like a cute nerd, you know? Yeah. Just, you know, because it was like in the pilot, like I think the audition scene that I had, there was two, but it, the, it, one of them was the scene where it's like, hey, you know, where I'm kind of flirting with Buffy, and it's like, hey, you forgot your... Steak. <laughs> that was that was actually my audition side. So it was, you know, I didn't particularly. I didn't really. Um, when you're acting like that, they don't really give you the script. They just give you sides and stuff. Okay. So I just thought he was, you know, a really kind of. I mean, he said some really funny stuff, and I just did it the best I possibly could. Did y'all think he's a cute nerd? Yeah. <laughs> and I still play a cute nerd on the on, on, on Criminal Minds. Yeah. <laughs> I go, I check, I fly home and I go right to the set and I shoot an episode of that, so. Oh, cool. Yeah, um, they've, they, they've taken their time this year, but you know, yeah. I guess they finally came to their senses. Uh, let's open I right could up. be done, I'm not sure, I've read the script. I, I you know, I'll, I'll let you guys know if it's my last episode or not. <laughs> uh, let's open it up to questions. I don't know how, oh Jesus, loud. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna skip all the way to the end of it. Um, what was your reaction, slash how did Joss Whedon pitch to you the losing an eye thing at the end of the seventh season? Well, you know, the whole thing with that was apparently um, I found out later that Joss wanted to kill Xander in the last episode. Call oh. him. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then the writer said, that's, yeah, I, that's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, so I think he's like, all right, well, the fuckers, he's gonna lose an eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna maim him in some way. Because, you know, Xander was a Joss, you know, so, you know, I think, you know, I, it's, which kind of says a lot that he wanted to, to kill himself <laughs> at the end. But, um, no, I read it in script. I was, you know, it was one of those things I would, you know, the thing, the great thing about Buffy was that when you do a show for five, six, seven, eight years, we did it for seven years, but like, the crew, after a while, you know, is like like the the head of each department, whether it's wardrobe or whether it's the lighting, 
they get their script and they just kind of go through it to make notes to see what they need to get. But the great thing about Buffy was that every time the script came out, like people would just, everybody would be sitting and reading it because they were such fans of the show, you know? So I would get my script, I would go home, and then I read it, and then I remember I came across this part where I'm like, nah, that can't be it. Like, no, nah, you know, this has got to be, I mean, it's like, no, nah, it's got to be dream sequence, right? <laughs> so I was in my living room reading that when I found out. I'm like, um, couldn't they have warned me, you know? <laughs> Uh, Thanks, I'm sure a lot of people have read interviews with you or with Joss talking about the fact that Xander was in part based on some of his experiences. Was he more involved with the molding of the character because it was kind of based on him? No, I mean, I, I think the, the thing that was really great about Joss, and is great about Joss especially, in the TV world is that he would take the personalities of the people okay. and, and then kind of work that in. So Xander and I are a lot alike. So like, you know, just kind of in the cadence and like the jokes and like kind of that, that you know, that staccato yeah. thing. So. Um, and that's what a good writer does. Kind of like, you know, looks at his actor and says, well, this is the way his, his sense of humor is, and we'll work that in. Cool. <laughs> Watch out for that microphone, it's right there. <laughs> it is, this is a very loud microphone. Um, but well, I see what the problem is, it's attacking me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what was your favorite episode of Buffy, like, to film or be a part of? Or the musical just enjoy? side. Because I think yeah, that's yeah. obviously like. But in terms of um, of acting, I would say that I really, really had a great time uh, in the uh, Buffy vs. Dracula playing. playing yeah. Buffy. yeah. I just love that, you know, I love the scene where I just, you know, I'm like, come on, you know, put them up. You know? It's like, yes, master. Yeah, you know. But I love, you know, I love my favorite line of all time, I think, is for Xander. Well, he had so many great ones because people kind of come up, but it's my favorite line is, oh, this will not please the master. Vader, you know? <laughs> then I eat a spider. <laughs> so, um, it's so hard. I mean, it's, I mean, the Zeppo was so, I mean, it's like, it's, it was really a show that there was never a bad day. Okay. You know? Thank you. So, Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> Did you get great response to the Zeppo episode? Because obviously, probably the most Xander centric episode. Russell T. Davies based an episode of Doctor Who loosely on it. Um, so, is that the one that, that got you kind of the best response? I, you know, I don't. It's, I, I was. We were very busy, so I, we lived a very cloistered life, you know. Right. So, um, it's it, it's. I'm I'm getting more response now from because I just started doing these conventions about like a year ago. So it's nice. So now I'm just kind of getting back, you know, the feedback of it. So cool. But I didn't get a bad response. Yeah, that's a great episode. <laughs> well, hello, Xander. Hello. How's it going? Great. That's good. Awesome. Um, what are some of your favorite uh, sci-fi shows, and what what was it like working with everyone behind the scenes of Buffy? Um, behind the scenes, you mean like naked? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Straight to the bone, naked. Yeah. Um, you know, I okay. Sci-fi is a genre. I've never. I'm not. It's not my thing. Okay. Particularly. I know. I, oh, I don't oh, want gasps. See, I didn't see like I was a kid, and I didn't. Everybody was going to see Star Wars, and I'm like, screw you, because <laughs> everyone else is doing it, you know. So I didn't even see Star Wars. Um, have I, you seen it now? I, I, I have now, yeah. Okay. But one of my best friends, Joel, is is just a sci-fi nut, and and you know we kind of have these battles, and I just it's things in space on spaceships. It's like I get claustrophobic, you know. It's like it's like who wants to live on an airplane for the rest of life, you know? I just kind of breathe in that recycle air. It's like, ah. <laughs> um, but funny enough, though, I was actually um, uh, the role of, of Captain Tight Pants on uh, Firefly was actually written for me. No. Yeah. no, it was. No, Josh came to my trailer with season six, and he's like, I'm writing you a pilot. And I'm like, great. And then um, season seven came, and he's like, Fox wants the show now. So I was actually supposed to play. So the guy who pokes my eye out, Instead. <laughs> Which also means, I mean, so then given the, the, everything that's happened, I would be Castle right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome.